In this video, I'll be going over how to turn a curve into a section like this, and we can do that with any curve. So let's set this curve. And at the end, we actually turned the entire dome here into those sections. So all you need is a base curve and we'll be going over the steps right now. The first thing we're going to do is create a line. So I'll take a line here and I'll also create a curve. So I'll create a control point curve and we'll use this one. So we have one and two and we'll start with this one and bring in the curve component. We'll set one curve. let's hide this and let's do the same thing for the other one so we'll bring in a curve component we'll set one curve and we'll hide this we can also create it parametrically but for now let's take this one and let's create a curve frame With this parameter or with this component, we have the parameters for plugging in our curve. Then for this parameter, we have to pick a point along that line. So we'll go to construct, construct point, and we'll actually just go to 0.5. And this is going to be along the X coordinate. So you'll see when I plug these in, as long as I take that curve and reparameterize, we can actually change the location of where this frame is. Let's go to 0.5. So it sets it right in the middle. And it'll do the same thing to this other curve. Now we're going to move the curve relative to this frame. So we'll go to move and we'll take this original curve and in the motion, we'll actually use amplitude. The frame will go into the vector and for the motion, we'll plug in the vector here. Now for amplitude, we can change that um, size. So let's go to four. And what we'll do is we'll actually do the same thing to the opposite side. For that, I'll bring in a negative component and I'll hold down shift to add another one to the motion. With this, I can actually loft together that curve. And we can do the same thing to this other one. Now notice that since we did it to both sides, it actually has to, we have to divide this in half because three is actually six here. It's three this way and three this way. We'll do three division by two. So it'll plug in three into the A divided by two. And that's going to be our amplitude. So this is going to be the overall size. Once we have this, we can take this and offset it. When we offset a surface, we'll do the same thing. We'll offset the surface and the distance. We'll say four. And for it to go the opposite way, we'll do negative. So I'm just doing the same thing that I did to the other one, to this one. Notice that I actually have to divide this one by two. So we do the same thing. So let's do division by two. And we'll replace that value. For this one, I have to hold down control to unplug that value and then hold down shift for an additional value. And we can hide this middle one. 
Now we can do, what we can do is take these two and loft them together. So let's loft this. And it'll create the space in between. So now we can join the curves or join the B-wraps. holding down shift and flatten this one and we can just deselect everything else and let's see if it works with the other one it's not guaranteed that it'll work but yes it does work so with that we have a really cool script that takes any curve and turns it into a square section with this we have the ability to change how thick it is we have the ability to change this. And what's cool is that, let's say if we had um, a structure here, let's try to go for a, I think this would be using Weaver Bird. And let's see, actually no, under mesh, this is a polyhedra. Say if we can just bring in an icosphere, give it a size. Let's get the edges. And let's see if we can plug in these edges into the input here. And if we graphed it, it should do it to all of them. So now let's disable the preview here. Actually, let's increase the size of this. Let's disable the preview on this and all the frames. And here we have a polyhedron that we can even change this uh, density. So let's go here to a one. And as you can see, we can change all of these sections to be, you know, smaller in one direction and longer in the other direction. If you keep them square, they would actually work a little bit better. So let's go to one. Hopefully you found that useful. I thought it was an interesting thing I wanted to share. Um, it's It would be good, like, you know, if you have a design or you have something that's just a bunch of wireframes, this is a cool way that you could just plug them in and have straight sections with uh, square uh, two or square sections. Um, and then those could be allocated later for, uh, you know, structural members or whatever. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I have way more information and courses if you want to check out the website. I also have scripts that are uh, completely optimized and ready to be used. And if you have any questions or wanted to get private tutoring, you can also contact me there. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.